know, 10 years ago, I think the game was a lot different. Um, you know, a lot of the kids probably was a little bit more fundamentally sound. Uh, you know, now there's so many gimmicks, you know, the way these kids are training. I mean, just like Kobe said, you know, AAU basketball, you know, as far as the United States, you know, ruined the game. Uh, you go to Europe, you know, you get those kids, it's more of an academy setting overseas, you know, where you have these kids, you get them at a young age, and they're all learning the same stuff. But it's about that, it's about that time, like they're just wasting, all these AAU programs are just wasting that, like what you're saying, grabbing them young, and the time they have from fourth and fifth, sixth grade, what are you teaching them? Well, I don't think there's much teaching going on here in the United States. I think, you know, a lot of coaches are more concerned about how many tournaments they win. Uh, you know, so the kids walk in the gym for practice, they start running plays, you know, there's no, no skill work going on. You know, for example, if you're a high school player and, you know, you can't handle the ball, you know, during the off season, you know, you're jumping into AAU, you're playing 30, 50 games, you know, when, you know, when do you have time? So it's like the, so, so, so the players come in with the wrong mindset as opposed to looking at AAU as a, a season to get better. It's more of AAU, I'm just going to go play in, in these 20 games and the lack of concentration of actually developing their skills. And that's exactly what's going on because a lot of players feel that they have more fun. Mm. And I'll say it again, more fun playing AAU basketball because there's no control there. Mm -hmm. Where you're playing on a high school team, it's gonna, you're gonna have to be disciplined. There's a system uh, there, you know, in place. So you have to play a certain way. You know, AAU basketball, you just get it and go. Whoever gets the ball, shoot it. So that's why I think a lot of kids enjoy, you know. Yeah, and I, I mean, for me also hearing all these parents come in the gym and when we get parents talking about, oh, it's what AAU team, or how, or how many trials we went to, we went to six different AAU teams, and just how the parents need to be educated in really what the season actually meant for. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, again, a lot of parents don't know, because if they did, they wouldn't be jumping from this AAU team to that AAU team. They would take their time and find the right place for their kids. You know, you talk to 100 kids, you know, 99% of them are going to tell you they would like to play at the next level, but I don't think the kids or the parents understand what it takes to get there. What does it take? I mean, from just from all your experience and all the players that, you're, that you've worked with, just with that insanity mindset of just the repetition, when, you know, everyone calls your voicemail, I mean, it's just so clear of what you stand for. Kids have changed, you see. You know, just like Cameron just said, he right. You know, a few years ago, I would have got on him. You know, because that's part of the whole discipline thing and the respect thing. But nowadays, these kids, <laughs> they don't think, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, you let them get away with a few things here and there, you know. No, yeah. Uh, but back what we were talking about uh, with just the overall mindset of, like, a, a, what it takes to get to the next level with just regarding the mindset of just doing something over and over and over again for someone to do that they have to have a different mentality you definitely have to have a different mentality you know because you're talking about repetition you're talking about doing the same things over and over and over so if you don't have the right mindset for repetition you will never get better you know and I think that's what a lot of these young players need to, to understand you know and, and need to work on so I think it's it, it's important for them to be in an environment where coaches are fostering that high level working on the fundamentals as opposed to going to these other gyms and it's more of the hurrah hurrah basketball showcase showcase but really you know I feel like that's just the main thing these players looking for that hurrah hurrah but like you said, 99% want to play at the next level, but are they actually in the right environment? You have to take a look. We live on the peninsula, okay? There's a lot of talented kids, mm. 
but how many kids get a chance to move on and play at the next level? Not many, because they are not in the right places to be developed. Mm. You know, just like I said, over in Europe, there are academies. So they bring over coaches from the United States to work with coaches over there to teach them how to teach the game. You know, just like Kobe said, you know, you listen to his piece. You know, they used to bring uh, the coaches from the United States over to Italy. And once the coaches would leave, pretty much they had a Bible over there because everything that they were taught, Kobe and them had to do that stuff every day.